Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another Android Studio tutorial. And today we're going to talk about toolbar. So we're going to learn how to create custom toolbar and add custom images, text view and so on. So uh, if you are looking to customize the toolbar and add it to your application, then this is the video for you. So uh, I was working with these chat applications and I'm going to add that tutorial soon in the channel, obviously. And there I learn how to customize the toolbar, how to add the uh, stuff like, you know, last scene online. And I learn how to add the profile picture of the user to the toolbar and so on. So today I want to share that knowledge with you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and create the Android Studio project and customize the toolbar in our app. But uh, okay, before that, I want to show you guys the uh, demo. Uh, I almost forgot. So here i have my device connected and open so i'm gonna show you guys what i was talking about so yes so here you can see we have the uh, custom toolbar there you can see uh, image is there and title and the status and so on so you can customize the way you want anyway let's go ahead and start by creating the android studio project so i have my android studio open here and i'm gonna create the new project and I'm gonna give the name as custom toolbar. Okay, I'll click and finish. And once the project is ready, we will start customizing our toolbar. So uh, we'll go ahead and customize the toolbar here. All right, so to do that, we need the custom view or custom toolbar, obviously. So first we're gonna do create that. So let's create the new uh, layout in our layout directory here and give the name as custom toolbar okay now it's going to have the root element as the toolbar so let me remove this so android x to the app compatible widget or toolbar so it is the root element because we are trying to customize the toolbar here okay so click on okay and it's going to create the custom toolbar layout for us so this is the custom layout and here you can see the toolbar is the uh, root element for our view. So inside this we are going to add the extra things that we need. So extra things like um, image view, text view and so on. So uh, what I like to do is I like to add one more layout here, constraint layout so that I'll be able to design the layout the way I want to what I want it to be okay and add the constant layout okay make it match parent match parent okay and uh, for now uh, I'm gonna make the height of this toolbar as wrap content okay and uh, yeah and we can give the background as the color primary so that it's going to look the same okay now inside this uh, constant layout we can drag and drop the image view and so on so let me go to the design now and we should be able to access this constant layout yes and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop few things that is image view and the text view so first thing i want i want to add is image view so i'm going to drag and drop the image inside that and uh, I'm going to select one of the avatar for now here later we will use the real image here and now this image uh, should be it should be within the height of the toolbar so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give the 40 dp of image height and width so 40 dp okay so this is the image Okay, I'm going to fix the constant on the all other sides, left and right. Okay, so it's going to have a dp of um, margin at the left, but not at the top. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the text view here. You know, uh, I'm just uh, editing the way I want it is. If you want to have something different, you can add it here like button or something like that. But I'm not sure why anyone would add that but anyway 
So the main thing is to add the text view here. So let's add the text view because I'm expecting that you want to add the text view here. Okay. Because toolbar is mostly going to consist of this image view and the text view. So yeah, let's make it match parent and give the 16 dp of margin or you can just give 8 dp for the consistency. And now I'm going to change the size of this text to 16 sp so that it could it is uh, more readable to us and change this color to white and make it bold okay and i'm going to give the text as custom toolbar and don't worry we will also change this through the program so that uh, you will have the idea of how to change this programmatically for now it is just a dummy text okay and now uh you know instead of giving 8 dp of margin here i'm just going to uh, fix this constant at the top of this image view so that it will be at the level with the image okay like that now we'll have the space to add one more text view here and it is going to have the constraint at the uh, end start to the image view into the that okay and i'm going to give the top constraint here let me give the 8 dp of margin okay something like that so this image view is not going to appear when we run this application so what i'm going to do is uh, change this to something custom so let me import one image from my system so uh, i'll do that and come back okay i have copied the dummy text a uh, dummy image so i'm going to paste the dummy image here into the drawable okay and i'm going to change this image from here so let me click on this image here and click on this image and i'll just remove this and now we should be able to see that dummy image here okay and uh we also need to give the id because uh, we want to be able to change this from the main activity so i'm gonna give the id as profile image okay yes i'm gonna change that and custom toolbar title is the id for this and this one is custom toolbar description so okay okay so our design is ready now let's go to the main activity here and customize um set this custom toolbar to our main activity because uh, let me show you guys let me run this application and show you guys how this app looks like without the custom toolbar okay because i don't want you guys to get confused so let's just run this first and we'll come back and set the custom toolbar so here we are just trying to run this main activity with the default toolbar that comes with the android app okay okay guys so app is running here and you can see with the default toolbar we don't have anything else other than the activity title here and now let's go ahead and implement the custom toolbar so first things first to implement the custom toolbar we need to notify our activity that we are trying to use the custom toolbar so to do that we can uh, get our current toolbar and we will set the display option to custom to display the custom toolbar okay so we need to add that uh, flag so that our activity understand that we are trying to use the custom toolbar so to do that we will use the get support action bar and we will set the display option so display options and now here we need to pass the flag so using the action bar we can uh, we can um, you know notify our activity that we want to display the custom toolbar so let's set the display so custom that means we are notifying our activity that we are trying to use the custom uh, toolbar and second thing we need to set the view so here in this step we will set this custom toolbar view to our current view so let's uh, current activity so let you let's use the get support action bar and set the custom view so oops uh, set custom view now here i will pass the layout 
that we just created that is custom toolbar all right so when we use these two things we will be able to display the custom view or custom toolbar that we have created in our activity so let's run this okay the application is running and now you can see we have the custom toolbar the toolbar description and the image and you can modify these uh, component as you want and i will show that in a second but you can see this is the custom toolbar we designed and we added that to our main activity and now that is used in our main activity here okay now the question is how we can modify this data so that uh, we can display the appropriate data here okay so if you are trying to use that in to display the name of the user and if you have multiple user then you want to modify this to the you know user according to their name and something like that okay so we have ids for each of this component here right so we can use this id and this custom toolbar view to set the or set or modify the uh this text here and image view here and so on so let's go ahead and do that um first things first since that is the text view the toolbar title is text view right so i'm going to create the new text text view uh variable here custom toolbar title all right now uh, we can use get support action bar and we can get the custom view that we have so get custom view because we are using custom toolbar here now um i can use the find view id and the rest of the story is same i can just get the id of that particular uh, title or particular text view that is custom toolbar title right and we can use the same set text method to change the name so i'm going to change that to let's change that to small academy okay all right and to change the description let's get another text view for the description okay i'm not going to write whole description thing uh, i'm getting sleepy anyway so get support action bar dot get custom view and the find view id added id custom toolbar description that's it and now we'll use the set text method to something else offline let's just, just say offline okay now let's run this application and we will see the changes in our main activity toolbar okay the application is running and you can see the small academy offline and have the custom toolbar is working perfectly fine so the challenge for you guys is to change this image okay add one more dummy image in the drawable and get that image view here and change that image view you can use uh you know say drawable resources or something that method to change the image view so i hope you guys will complete that challenge and send that app screenshot to our facebook group if you don't know or if you haven't joined our facebook group please join it i'll link that in the description and i will see you in the next video bye bye have a good day or night